Agriculture on the move. 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 Hello again, Sir Lucia, and welcome to the program, Agriculture on the Move. My name is Philip Sidney, your host. Today we will be discussing apiculture in St. Lucia, and of course we are also looking at, first time in St. Lucia we will be having a national honey show. Ah, you'll hear more about, more about it with the persons I have in studio which is next to me is Mr. Richard Mathias, who is the president of the Ionola Apiculture Collective. And next to him, everybody know Giles, <laughs> Giles Romulus, who is the national coordinator for Jeff, UNDP, SGP, here in St. Lucia. He will tell you all about the acronyms after. <laughs> Welcome to the program, gentlemen. Thank you, Sidney. Thank, Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Um, Jeff, I, mem I remember, um, Romulus, we had a uh, knowledge fair, what's it, about three years ago? Two years ago. About two years ago. Yeah. And that went very, very well. I must say it was a huge success. Um, I know we have been trying to see whether we could have had it, but of COVID, of course, constraints. However, I'm very happy to know that there's something coming. Mm -hmm. And um, I need you to tell St. Lucia, one, since you have been looking at apiculture in St. Lucia, it's a thriving industry thus far. Mm -hmm. um, I need to know, we need to know more about it. But from your organization point of view, tell us about that program. Thank you, Sidney. Thank you for welcoming us back on your set. It's always a pleasure to be here with you. I think uh, taking care of the nation through uh, the quality and the quantity of food that we produce is always important. Yes, sir. And uh, just to go back a number of years, um, I returned to St. Lucia in 2011, 2012 uh, to set up the Small Guns Program in St. Lucia. And you wouldn't believe it, uh, Sydney, within a month of setting up the structures, the very first ministry that came to me was the Ministry of Agriculture. Wow. Two of your senior officers there, Anthea Joshua being one of them, came up to me and said, apiculture is mm -hmm. suffering. How can you assist us in revitalizing the apiculture industry? Wow. When I explained to her that we work for civil society organization, she mentioned Millefleur. Mm -hmm. And she brought two gentlemen to my office, and I'll never forget this gentleman, Mr. Chedi and Vavan. Yes. Those two gentlemen, I think we have to continue we to recall owe them. them. We oh owe them, and they're deceased, but uh, wow. They're deceased, yes, but they man. came and sat down in my office and told me about apiculture mm -hmm. in ways that I never knew before. I already knew that we could fund apiculture for a biodiversity focal area. And after speaking with them, I went down to the Mabia Valley in their context mm -hmm. and understood what they were talking about. Right. And uh, apiculture became were part of the first two projects we funded for St. Lucia in 2012. Okay. One was some milk flour, and the, un the other one was with the disabled honey producers of Shoazal. So the very first introductory projects in St. Lucia were apiculture projects. Wow. Since then, we have funded in excess of eight projects, nine projects in St. Lucia um, at planning grant and full grant phase, over $1.4 million of investment. We, uh, help, we have helped to really revive a renaissance of the uh, apiculture industry has occurred between 2012 and the present. Um, only this afternoon I was on the phone with the Horizon Brothers. Mm -hmm. They're getting the final approvals for the solarization mm -hmm. of their processing plant in Greece. Wow. So I expect to see invitations going out to the minister very soon from them to come and see the first mm -hmm. uh, solarized rural apiculture processing facility in St. Lucia. And since then we've worked with a number of groups. IAC came on the board, on board perhaps we catalyzed the existence of uh, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Matthias, I think they came on board yeah. and we have been a lifeline to them in many respects. Okay. And uh, what is exciting is that we we have farmers who are, who are 
at the primary production level. But what I see and Richard and, and his group has done is to take us up the value chain mm -hmm. to the mm -hmm. precious yes. production level of such things as propolis and epitoxins and so on that can go from $30 to $300 a, a gram wow. internationally. One of the points that one of the, 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 the principles driving our program in St. Lucia is to ensure St. Lucians own that value chain. Mm -hmm. Let's learn the lessons from the banana industry from the sugar period. Let us integrate research and technology into the apiculture industry so we can gain and we can benefit a lot more than we have had before uh, when we had uh, crops like sugar and, 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 and cotton and, and, and bananas. Your first on issue. How do you get, get, get involved in this? Ah, fantastic <laughs> question. Why? <laughs> After, um, I think it is Richard who brought up this idea to us. Very good. We were designing, um, continuing to invest in Solutia, and we thought that as part of the our knowledge fair, which you mentioned at mm -hmm. the beginning, mm -hmm. you might have remembered we introduced and pioneered knowledge fairs in Solutia two years ago. Uh, you remember we occupied the whole of the William the Peter Boulevard yes. uh, Constitution and, Park and, Tom and, Hall. and Parliament as well. Parliament as and well. So, on. so this year we were hoping to have, um, and I must say that the, the, the administration at the time really lauded us to that. Mm -hmm. And we had the encouragement to do it again. So we were hoping to do the same thing, but COVID, COVID. came along mm -hmm. and we had to downsize. And Richard recommended the Honey Show as a way of building standards, lifting standards. Um, promoting St. Lucia as a center for apiculture in the OECS and also helping us to promote the, the, the message of research and innovation of technology and so on. Uh, this would be a means of doing it. So what we have done is to integrate the Honey Show as part of our second knowledge fair. Mm. So in December on the 9th and 10th you're going to be have basically two for one. Right. You can go to the town hall City Hall, where you have the Honey Show in full display, and on Constitution Park, you're going to have 20 books displaying various aspects of apiculture, but some innovations as well. Okay. In fact, the first smart fad will be displayed for the first time in St. Lucia using satellite technology to tell us about our fishing in our coastal ah. zone. That wow. is a separate program, but wow. I'll leave you in wonder for the time being. Wow, wow, Until wow, you see wow, it on display. Wow. That's, is, for that, the is, night. Is, is that the beginning or continuation of Star Trek? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are going, we are going where no one has been before. before. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned. Stay tuned. So, yeah, yeah, not the final voyage, you know. Definitely, I understand <laughs> that. The voyage of the Starship and the Well, as I yeah. move to, to <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Matthias, um, Giles and myself, would, and of course, we want the rest of St. Lucia mm -hmm. to congratulate Mr. Matthias. Oh, yes. on his qualification yes. as master beekeeper. I the think only that is one about. About. <laughs> about. <laughs> yeah. uh, Richard, Richard yeah. tell us about, about this, this, this program. You know, um, I think you got it from the University of Cornell, right? Yes. yes. No, tell yes, us about yes. this. Uh, it's an 18-month program mm -hmm. um, which integrates every aspect of apiculture, um, harnessing your skills in the craft as well as um, zooming in on technology and how you can identify diseases, um, different techniques you need to look at, um, honey, basic honeybee biology. Um, you also need to look at food and nutrition, um, reviewing the diet that bees eat and seeing what the importance of having a diverse diet for the bees mm -hmm. so that they can um, have the building blocks that they need for, for their dietary needs. So it's a quite intense, comprehend, um, detailed and comprehensive program. Um, you know, it was very intense at moments. You know, you had a, a nice, sometimes two or three week focus on a, on a particular subject and then you got very intense testing period on the subjects okay. um, that you just covered. So it was, and then, Quite an interesting 18 months. 18 I, months? Yes. Um, wow. I, at the end of it, I kind of missed it. <laughs> yeah, I could imagine. So what's the equivalent in terms, in terms of deg is it degree, is it degree course? Or what it is? Um, it's, I would say it's a degree program. It's something that it will, it will um, um, guide persons to be able to, um, to, to function in, in, in the apiculture industry uh, at a professional level, professional level. Mm -hmm. um, so that you can communicate with fellow beekeepers um, you know in a, in a more prof at a proper extension 
kind of so level that you have the, the full knowledge of what disease is, uh, what issues that they may occur with, and also how to, how to help them to guide to run their business as well. It's right, also right. an important component of the program. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, it's a very, um, very specific to apiculture. It zooms in a lot of very um, detailed subjects that if I could talk mm -hmm. about and I could boy, mm -hmm. I mean, I could go. So, so moving forward, I mean, okay, uh, are you going to keep that knowledge to yourself? Are you going to be uh, get engaging the Ministry of Agriculture and farmers, potential beekeepers in that, in that regard? Yeah, um, well, I mean, prior to me doing that, we, uh, the I know the Apiculture Collective has always been working with beekeepers in, in the community right. um, and trying to assist them. I think 2020, we did our queen giveaway. We gave over a, few, a couple of hundred queens away to different beekeepers across the island. Okay. Uh, we've done a couple of sessions on colony expansion, how to guide beekeepers in how to expand them, our colonies they have, um, queen rearing. Um, so we've done a few programs prior to me even completing that program. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that we've done now, we've, we're also we're working with Mr. Romulus and Jeff and uh, uh, the Jeff SGP family of in the, in the region. Uh, we have a regional project that's going on right now uh, where we are helping the development of other beekeeping other islands as well as St. Lucia. Um, I just came back from Anguilla, Antigua and St. Kitts um, doing some exploratory work with the beekeepers in, in those areas um, and to help them get move forward as well. So we're not only just through Jeff and Mr. Romulus, the ISC is not just a, a, a St. Lucian entity, we are mm. now a regional entity working in different islands with beekeepers across the region. Okay. As you far as south understand? as Trinidad and Guyana and as far north wow. as Anguilla so far. Okay. You want to add anything on this, oh, yes. your involvement? Oh, 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 yes. I'm sure. De definitely, definitely, <laughs> Simi. I wouldn't uh, miss that opportunity <laughs> at all. <laughs> you, you, you might have recalled, Sydney, in, in, in previous programs I told you uh, we wanted to take St. Lucia to become the center for apiculture in the OECS. Mm -hmm. Yes. I made that yes. very clear. Yes. This, is, yes. this is my goal. This is the, 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 the point at which my sights are set on. Mm -hmm. And for us to do that, we needed to support persons or individuals or groups that are pushing that boundary. Mm -hmm. We're no longer happy to stay at the low end of just um, harvesting honey from hives. That's right. not good enough. Right. And we have to push our farmers to get involved in the science. Get involved in the science. If we stay at that bottom, we're going nowhere. That's right. That's and right. that is one of the reasons we have supported IAC, continue to support IAC. And if this continues to show progress, we will continue. Because what is happening there now, Richard has illustrated to us what can happen when you are sufficiently ambitious yes. and you want to yes. make the sacrifice mm -hmm. and have the discipline mm -hmm. of 18 months of hard work and so on. Mm -hmm. And therefore, um, at Cornell University, as he was telling us before, St. Lucia is the only one that if a daughter did. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, first Nobel Prize winners, yes, most, yes, why not first yes, master beekeeper? Yes, yes, and and yes. I want to laud him for that. Yes. Our country is moving. We mm -hmm. have the potential. Mm -hmm. So we want people to rise uh, from slumbering mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and emulate what he has done okay. so that our industry can move forward. Definitely. And that is the only way we can move from primary to secondary yes, to yes, tertiary yes. level production. Yes, yes. And that is our goal. We will continue to do this as long as we are here. Okay, we do for our break. Mm. You're watching Agriculture on the Move. Stay tuned. We'll be back mm. soon. It's buzzing from the 9th to December 10th, 2021, from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. at Castries Town Hall. He won or a national honey show under the distinguished patronage of the Minister of Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security, and Rural Development, Honorable Alfred Prosper. The National Honey Show categories are Honey in a Jar, Beeswax, Baking with Honey, Art, and Photography, and the Best in Show Challenge Cup. The head judge is Sue Carter from the London Honey Show. This event is sponsored by Ionola Apiculture Collective, Caribbean Youth Environmental Network, Ministry of Agriculture, GEF, SGP, UNDP, SLHTA, and CCC. For more info call 452-4900 or 717 000. 
This is an activity of the GEF, SGP, UNDP. See you there. Welcome back to the program. Agriculture on the moon, of course, as you heard, we are talking apiculture. Those of you who don't know what is apiculture, we talk about bee production, honey production, the rearing of bees. And of course, it's a big thing in St. Lucia, and we will make it bigger and better with Jeff on our side. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> As you heard, we are having our first honey show in St. Lucia, and that is organized and funded by Jeff. Uh, it's called the Hiwanora Honey Show. And of course, with me again, of course, is Mr. Matthias, the master beekeeper, who, I hate, who is the, um, you, you, what, what, you're supposed to be the manager of the show, right? Um, yeah, I am the show manager. <laughs> okay, uh, tell us about uh, the show. We stowed we stowed the tale. <laughs> um, the Huonora National Honey Show was a brainchild that we thought of, I think, dating back to uh, when we had the Congress. Mm -hmm. We wanted to include it in the Congress, mm -hmm. but because of the, we were in the initial phases of the craziness, um, you know, we weren't even sure how we were going to, we were able to do the first virtual congress at that time, which was quite an accomplishment. But anyway, we wanted to have the honey show then, we couldn't do it, so we, what we did is that we started the wheels in motion to, to generate that interest mm -hmm. and to generate the interest in the island. Um, this displaying honey and putting it on show is something that is an international thing. It's, a very, big, it's very big in North America, Europe, uh, any of the big honey production, honey producing countries, there's always a honey show where beekeepers show their, their, their honey quality and, and, and the different nectar tastes and sources and to see if that can, um, you know, woo the crowd, woo the judges mm -hmm. and, and get the bragging rights, I got the best honey for my region or country. And it's something that has been missing in St. Lucia and definitely the wider Caribbean that there hasn't been any honey show to speak of on a consistent basis um, where to, to really encourage the beekeepers and, and that they, uh, have some event that the beekeepers could galvanize themselves mm -hmm, behind. Mm -hmm. um, so we thought of that um, and it's not just a honey show. Um, this is the schedule. It's not just about honey. Um, we've got other areas of interest within the, within the show. Um, you've got there are four different categories of, for, of honey judging. You've got um, light, uh, mid, light amber, medium amber, uh, dark amber, which is the honey, co the color, the color of the of honey. honey. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and you also have comb honey, um, comb, uh, which is a, a jar like this with a slice of comb inside of it. Right. And then with honey around it. Okay. All right, so, and everything has to be matching. So if you do one jar, you have to have a matching jar. So you have okay. to do, they have to be identical in comb and presentation and the wow. color of the honey. Wow. All right, that level of sophistication. Right. Um, and then we've also got wax. You know, wax is something that is very important part of the, of the hive system. So there's a, we have a competition where they're judging a block of wax between one pound and one and a half pounds in weight. Um, they're looking at it for consistency, color, smell, um, and the f uh, no debris or little dots in it. It's gonna be perfectly clean mm. block of wax. Um, you also have candle making. There's a lot of people in St. Lucia that yes. make candles yes. uh, from beeswax. So two matching candles. It could be a plain candle. It could be a scented. No, not scented, just plain, just plain, bees, just ah. plain beeswax. Okay. Um, you have the, what I think is going to be my favorite is the cake. Uh, we have the honey cake um, competition where we have a, a, a set recipe, which is on our brochure. Mm -hmm. um, you follow the instructions and you bake the cake to the instructions and we're looking for the best representation of that. So of is that. that open to the public? It's open to the public. Anybody can go into that. So place. how, how do you get contact or what? Um, I mean, you could call the Jeff office mm -hmm. um, and register at the Jeff office. Uh, we have been doing outreaches, outreaches. We just got our Creole, uh, English and Creole um, advertis advertisements out. Special thanks to um, Mr. Andrew Haynes. Yeah, AKA, Yadi, man, my partner. AKA, AKA Yadi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was really good, man. Yes, man. Good news to you, Yadi. Yes, so <laughs> we've got those out there. Um, and persons, there's a call to action, there's a telephone number. You can pick up the phone and you can call it or you call me directly, 717 all the zeros. Mm -hmm. um, and we can get a 
email or registration form to you straight away. But I really think the cake area is very good. Yes, that's interesting. <laughs> you also have the baked goods. Um, the baked goods is also another uh, baked good with honey. So you can create anything you want. It could be a cookie. It could be a cupcake. As long as it has honey in its ingredient and you can present the recipe for your creation to go with it. It could be anything you want, that, but it must have honey inside mm -hmm. of it as part of the ingredient. Um, that's an open, there's no set category, there's no specifics other than you present the recipe and it must have honey in it. Mm -hmm. And it'll be judged on its taste. We've got Chef Orlando, who will be leading the team on that one. Okay. Um, and I forgot to mention, um, most importantly, uh, we've got from the London Honey Show in the UK, which is the most prestigious honey show in the world, we have Miss Sue Carter, who's coming in to be our head judge. So it's not, we have somebody of international prestige and talent who knows what they're doing, what, they, what to look for in honey. Mm -hmm. So if we can create this uh, relationship with the London Honey Show, um, over time, I think, you know, next year, I would love to see Competition from St. Lucia, go up to, go up to London Honey yes. Show and enter the international category. Yeah, um, they have, we've, we've had successful participants from the Caribbean in the past, from Trinidad, from Grenada, Dr. Val Majesimi, she's she won it three times in a row and was able to keep the cup. Wow. So um, it's something that we really need to encourage our beekeepers to, to up their game and get to the next level. Um, you know, it's all well and good selling a you know yard bottle of honey in a campari bottle and yeah we need move to move on that yeah, man yes, yes 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 so we need to and through the honey show it hopefully will be a catalyst to do that especially one of the categories we have is best commercial product mm -hmm. so how you actually sell your honey to the general public yes it'll be judged yeah. and it'll be judged based upon that you meet the bureau standards criteria mm -hmm. for selling honey. Mm -hmm. All right. mm -hmm. So you know, so it's very important that not only do we have the competition because anybody who enters the competition, this is a competition glass jar. You would just have it in. You prepare your. You come. You do your registration. You pick up your glass jar, and then the day of competition in the morning from eight o'clock, you come and pre present your honey to the um, the show secretary and the stewards, they will receive it and they'll pass it on to the judges for judging. Wow. Right, so you have to come register and get your jar wow. from, from the office. Okay. Now, it's, so it's very important that um, when you're into the commercial category, as I was saying, is that the commercial category is how you would sell your honey to, to the supermarket, to the drugstore, to the general cut, to the general public. And there are rules and criteria per the Bureau of Standards and um, the Ministry of Environmental Health, the you know, Environmental Health Agency, that you you should align yourself to meet those criteria. Because mm -hmm. remember, honey is not just something that you know it's a you know everybody as a historical thing, but it's a food product, yes. and it should be handled with yes. care and attention yeah. Yeah. as a food product. Great. All right. So I think what we are hoping to do through this program is to really raise interest in the honey, raise interest in the byproducts you can get from the hive, mm -hmm. and also raise the general standard of, of honey production um, in St. Lucia that it's, you know, we're cut above the rest of the Caribbean. Yeah. You know, so it all starts at home. Yeah. Um, and you know, if you wanna, you know, everybody says they wanna sell the honey in America or they wanna sell it in England, but you know, you gotta beat the standard. Yes, yes. And, if the, and if we have a honey show of, of great caliber, um, it will help people to reach the standard and it'll be very easy for them to make the transition to the international market. Great. Tell us about our patron. Um, yeah, um, oh, momentarily, yeah. just a number of points. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, those containers have been ordered by the project. Okay. When people register, they get the containers. So you can't come with your own container. Right, right. And the same thing. Yes. So yes. it's part of the package that we offer. Yes. The next point I want to make is that you don't have to be a beekeeper to participate. If you're an excellent cook, which is the point you was making, right, 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 excellent right, right, baker, right, 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 right. Yes. Uh, yes, so yes. if you work at Ama or at yes. uh, Manis yes. or at Kadas yes. or yes. wherever, yes. and you can bake a cake and put honey in it, mm -hmm. you yes. can participate. Okay. Yes. And yes. if you can 
big a turkey. <laughs> you can participate. Yes, yes, so, yes. So, so you see the diversity mm -hmm, of possibilities mm -hmm. that there are for people to participate. It would be, a, it would have been a good thing though the, the, the schools were in full, full Oh, you forgot to. We've missed out one yeah. of the most yeah. art and photography. Okay. Yes. All right, so there is an art and photography section uh, yeah. where you have to capture uh, some a subject matter related to beekeeping. So yeah. it could be a bee on a flower, it could be a beekeeper at work, or, or just a picture of an apiary. Um, there are three categories. You've got and for the general art, for the, there's a youth. Uh, 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 under 16s category okay. so a person's under 16 at the time of the show um, they can enter an art piece or painting or photograph. a photograph Whoa, of, their, cool. of their own creation mm -hmm. um, and then for the fellas the guy everybody over 16 years old we have the general competition where you can enter a nice exhibit of, of painting or rendering of your choice and then we have the photography section where you can take a nice picture which is open to all age groups. Um, and you know, if you've got a really nice picture that you think that could capture the prize, um, go for it. Wow. So, yeah, it, so it's not just, uh, it's, a, it's, it's not just- It's the, diverse. It's very diverse. Mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and you know, one of the things from be being in the beekeeper, I'm always out in beautiful environments. I'm always out in nice nature and atmospheres. Yeah. And it's important that you encapsulate, honey is, encapsulating the flavor of your country the f beautiful flowers that you see mm -hmm. um the the little resins the bees capture the, to make the wax and so forth it's all part of the ecosystem around you right. and um it's very important that you know your honey is a taste of your country participation yes at the at the show who are the persons that uh, will be in terms of booths and being in the Constitution Park and also in the Town Hall. That's a good one for me. Yes. Um, the, the Constitution Park uh, will be primarily grantees, okay. but we also have um, other groups that will participate. ICA will be there, for example. Okay. Department of Forestry, Department of Fisheries will be there. Um, we'll have um, groups from around the country. The Export Solution will okay. be there, right. South Falls Community College, because we're also integrating the research and innovation theme Okay. into the uh, mini knowledge fair that we are having. Okay. And yes. all of those persons have confirmed the participation. The patron. And, and no, 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 mm -hmm. I have to tell you your mm -hmm. favorite booth. Uh, two years ago, you know which is, what was his favorite booth? Uh, uh, the Jameson. Oh, yes. <laughs> the aquaponics <laughs> man. Yes, man. <laughs> you have to bring that yeah. back in over. I know. So, I don't so, want you to so kill me. me. I want to make <laughs> aquaponics <laughs> of honey, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Yeah, I know yeah. that's your favorite booth. Yes, man. And oh, I yes. was on the phone with Jameson this afternoon and he mm -hmm. confirmed that he's going to be there. Beautiful. So I put a question. I said to him, what if the fish finish where you go to? <laughs> yes, like, like the last time. <laughs> like the last time. <laughs> Bring more fish. <laughs> Bring more fish. <laughs> more fish. So yes, I don't know where you go to. Yeah, yeah. I was about to close though because we had just yes. about two more minutes left. Uh -huh. Okay, um, the, the patron, yes, we want to um, thank the Honorable Minister of Agriculture, Honorable Alfred Prosper, yes. for agreeing from day one to be the patron. And we want to thank the Ministry of Agriculture for contributing to this event. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Not only the Ministry of Agriculture, contributed by the Cassius Constituency Council yes. under yeah. her worship. Um, um, uh, Len 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 uh, we want to thank the SLHTA, Narani Aziz and his team up there for contributing. We want to thank CYEN, Caribbean Youth Environment Network. Mm -hmm. We want to thank um, um, IEC for, for contributing in a, in, in a major way. We, ha we have um, other persons uh, the grantees that will be participating yes. and yeah. so on. The Royal Signature Police Force will be helping us with security and so on. And I, I want to tell everybody that the, uh, the, the Chief Medical Officer has, has signed off on, has signed on to the program and she has um, 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 approved it. So the protocols are in place? Oh yes, oh yes, you're going to be... <laughs> Ensure your, that your, your temperature <laughs> will, be, will be measured. And of course, we'll have sanitizers at every booth. Yeah, and, and, the, and the social distancing, yes, that is we, crucial we, because we, it's, yes. it's the first time on the show. Yeah. So people yes. will want to... Yes, yes. 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 we're going to have um, uh, uh, notices everywhere mm -hmm. and we we'll limit the number of persons entering the auditorium at the Cassius, uh constituency council okay. and so on so we will be controlling all of those things all and, right. and so on so i mean we can talk for the rest I of know. the evening well, if you want to come, we have to come, <laughs> good things have come to an end yes. so we, we are at that point now matthias i wouldn't even ask you to say anything to, because we are rich there already and like i said it's on the 9th and 10th 
of okay. December. Of December. Yes. What time is that? Uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. Beautiful. Thank you, gentlemen, for being here. I am looking forward to this, and I will sample, as you see, my aquaponics and honey. Yes. Thanks yes, again sir. for being here, Matthias. Thank no, you for me, Mr. Charles Robinas. You've been watching Agriculture on the Move. Thank you for viewing the program. And remember, agriculture is our business. Eat fresh, St. Lucia's best. Honey is better than breast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Time is Philip Sidney. Time is early. Agriculture on the move. 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 Agriculture on the move.